Yo, so I'm gonna tell you how I did that painterly look, that fake painterly look that you saw, and I'm gonna tell you in a bit, but before I do that, I'll tell you that if you wanna do it more perfectly, like more natural, uh, then you can watch these two videos. One is by Cody Chindi, and it is amazing. The way he did it, it, it looks more natural actually, well, it is probably because he actually painted it. Well, this is the first way you can do it. And the second way you can do it is this way. Uh, the way Sun and Shadi showed. Well, actually, my method is based off his method. Uh, the only thing, you know, I actually stole, <laughs> I actually stole from him, but I try to do it in the quickest possible way, where some people want to do it in a, in the quickest way without putting that much effort, like, uh, sometimes it is not the emphasis for your, you know, art style, you just want to get away with it, uh, while giving it kind of like a fake painterly look. So that's what my tutorial is about. Okay, so uh, first of all, we'll go and we'll just put some kind of like, you know, monkey, right? And we'll just put a material and then we'll just give it some kind of like subdivision surface so that it looks good putting on shade smooth. All right, all right, so this is what it is, right? What we want to do is, as you can see here, this is how it looks realistically, right? But we don't want realistic. What we want is some kind of like strokes. And it is very, very <laughs> crude. But uh, as you can see that these are the kind of strokes that, you, that we want. So first thing is these strokes. And the second thing is the geometry is distorted as maybe you've seen some kind of uh, some paintings. I hope you have seen paintings in, your, in real life. I hope you have touched grass. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but as you can see that the, the distorted, you know, uh, geometry is what we have seen in paintings mostly, right? They don't have like pure, like, you know, correct like geometrical shapes well they have but most of the times painterly looks have you know distorted geometry but anyway so that's what we want to do here so simply just take foreigner texture which is one of the best way you can get that kind of strokes and take this position and put to normal because we want the normal of the object to change into the painterly look that we want, okay? So we'll give it some kind of like green color because it, I don't know, it, it looks like my brand color. Anyway, anyway, so yeah, we'll put the position, well, if you have no Wrangler attack, uh, you know, enable, you can see how it is looking. Well, putting on position. As you can see that this is what we want, right? This kind of like, this kind of like, you know, but we will modify this in a bit. But anyway, so we actually want to tell Warner Texture that actually take the normal of the object and uh, do whatever you're doing accordingly, right? We have to see, uh, take the normal of the object and then modify them, right? So if you have no Wrangler, you know, enable, um, select this and press C trial plus T, and you have this texture coordinate and mapping. Uh, you will take the normal of the vector, and now you can see that this is more or less what we want, right? The painterly look. We can change the settings a little bit to make it little well you can change whatever uh, however you want but let's just put it on like I don't know three and make it make the detail increase the detail so that it is a little subtle well it is up to you but make it a little subtle 
and that's how it will look like all right so this is the first thing that you do and the second thing that I was talking about like like geometry distortion in geometry what we will do is we will go to modifiers and add displace modifier okay so if yeah it, it, it is looking like a blob well you'll just click on this it's still looking terrible uh, just go to textures and change the type of the distortion like displacement to Wernoy because we want the same thing in the geometry that we're doing on surface so we put it on Wernoy but it's still looking like a piece of trash literally so we will go to modifiers and then we will change the strength to very very low but not zero like maybe 0 0.05 okay now it is distorting but it's not distorting too much okay so if you want to change this you can change however much you want and then set up your lighting okay I've already set up my lighting if you want to see the tutorial I have previous videos where I've set up the lighting but anyway we already set up the lighting and if I would render this we will see that kind of painterly look that we, we want you can change the settings however you want but more or less this is the kind of painterly look I showed you in the beginning I hope you like the tutorial and I'll make more videos in the future uh, I guess like subscribe whatever give me money I don't know give me a house I don't know do something but or at least just make this anyway see you later